Uh, meanwhile, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife now asking you to be on the lookout for the invasive Chinese mitten crab that can be found in some local waterways. In fact, someone just found one who was over in the Willamette River near the Selwood Bridge in Portland. It's actually the second sighting of one of these critters so far this year. Another was caught this spring. That was over in the Columbia River. Still unclear exactly how they arrived. Now, they can be illegally imported, possibly dumped, or uh, may have simply been in the water of a ship on arrival. ODF and W does say that those mitten crabs, they live in freshwater, unlike native crab species around the state, saying that they can really destroy those native species and habitats. It is a species that is really good at burrowing into shoreline, banks, levees, and so it can cause a lot of damage to uh, flood control systems. It can also impact native species. It can eat a lot of fish eggs. So that's one of our concerns that if Chinese mitten crab were to get a toehold here, could it actually impact our salmon and steelhead? And the evidence does suggest that it could. Well, those crabs, they're only about three inches wide, uh, kind of easy to identify due to the hairy features. That's why they're called mitten crabs, after all. Uh, they do vary in color, though. They can be brownish orange to a greenish brown. Ultimately, though, if you see one of these, simply report it to ODF and W.